In this video, we will be discussing how to replace the liner inside your MIG gun cable or your torch gun cable, whatever you call it. Uh, the liner is what the wire rides through on its way up the torch and out to the weld. Over time, due to wire pieces coming off and restrictions coming in and just debris and dirt from the welding process, the liner will consume and eventually will need to be replaced. Usual symptoms that you know you need a liner, if your wire is skipping on you, where the motor keeps turning but the wire is not advancing forward, you get burned back at the tip of your gun where your wire just burns back up and your weld is ruined, or you just notice that it's not coming out as fast as it used to, may indicate that your liner is worn and needs to be replaced. Say you suspect your liner is restrictive and you want it and it's time for you to change it. The way for us to test this that I suggest is to turn the machine on, feed about six inches or so of cold wire at the tip of your gun, turn the machine off, and cut the wire off back at the spool and we're going to pull that wire from the tip of the gun out. So once you have your wire fed at the tip of your gun, you're going to cut it back off at the roll, keeping a hold of the wire so it doesn't unravel on you. Cut your wire free. Secure your wire to your spool hub. And then release tension on the wire arm. Now, with the tension released and the wire cut off, you're going to lay your gun out in a normal way you'd have it if you were welding and you're going to grab that wire and this should come out as easy and free as can be. Now if you felt a lot of restriction when pulling your wire out you might have a bad liner it's time to replace it. So the first step in changing your liner is to remove the gun cable or torch gun cable off of the machine completely. How we do that is in the wire drive area we find this red cap thumb screw that goes into the side of the motor casting assembly and we loosen it up taking it out all the way then we go to the front of the machine and how you get the gun off the machine is you grab a hold of the gun cable and the boot put your foot on the bottom of the machine and do not twist just wiggle and pull and the gun cable comes loose. So now you have your gun cable free from your machine and we're going to change the liner. So the first thing you want to do is take off the pieces on the tip of your torch gun. Nozzle, insulator, unscrews your tip and your diffuser, unscrew your diffuser from the neck and you will see that your liner is sticking out of the neck. Next step in the change your liner process is to go to the other end of the torch, the side that plugs into the machine, and find this brass connector plug. It will have the small 5 ths Allen head set screw. Loosening this set screw will allow you to pull the liner out from the back of the torch. And when you purchase your new liner to install, you'll notice that it comes with a new gas seal as well. We offer different size liners based on wire diameter or the machine you're using. The Muscle MIG 140SL and the MIG 140 will come standard with a liner with a blue gas seal. That denotes that the liner will accept wire sizes 0 .020 up to 0 .030 diameter wire. The white gas seal on the liner comes standard with the Muscle MIG 250 SL as well as the MIG 220. It accepts wire sizes 0 .030 up to 0 .045 diameter wire. And for wire sizes above 0 .045 we offer a liner that will come with a green gas seal. Now that you have your new liner, you ready to install it? What you want to do is to lay your gun cable out in a straight line and take your new liner 
with the gas seal and we're going to install it from the back end in all the way through until it's all, all completely installed. Take your liner, insert it into the connector plug, and feed it into the gun cable. And now you've got your liner installed, you have your gas seal, your final step is to push it in and seat the gas seal against the brass connector plug. And when it's properly installed, your liner will have a three quarters of an inch stick out from where the brass ends to the end of the liner. It comes preset when you get your new liner with that measurement, but once you've installed it, just remeasure to be sure it's correct. Your last step before reinserting your gun cable to your machine is to tighten down the set screw all the way down till it stops. and then a half a turn more. Now once you've installed your new liner go to the other end to the gun side of the gun cable and you'll notice sticking out of your neck is a lot more liner than you're going to need. The instruction manual that comes with your liner will indicate based on the type of front end pieces you have the length you're going to want to trim off. Now the TG style front end is our most popular style front end and what this torch is. So for that I'm going to cut off one and a quarter inch from the end of the neck. Okay. After you've cut the liner the edge that you cut may have a sharp edge on it or a burr so we recommend using a rotary tool or some form of a reamer to clean up the inside of the liner. Now you can reinstall your pieces from the tip of your gun. Your diffuser. Your insulator. And your nozzle. Now we've reinstalled our new liner, everything's adjusted correctly, cut to length, and put back together again. Now we put the gun cable back into the machine. And remember, anytime you have the gun cable separated from the machine, it's a good idea to take the opportunity to clean both connection points. The brass plug in that goes into the machine, with some sandpaper or emery cloth, you can sand down and clean it up of any oxidation or arcing. And the same inside the hole, turn it into a barrel shape, get inside of there and really clean out that bore really nice. That way we have nice good clean connections when we reinsert our gun cable. What you do by lining up, moistening the o-rings to help you put it in. Remember don't use any petroleum based products. We don't want to contaminate the weld gas. Once you've inserted the gun cable back in fully from the front of the machine, go around to the wire feed area, open the door, find your red cap thumb screw, reinsert and screw down fully. Put a little bit of pressure from the front of the gun and make sure it's nice and tight. And check this connection every day you go to a well. This is a very important connection. And your next step will be to reinstall your wire through your cable assembly. Tighten down your tensioner arm, apply your tensioner, and you're ready to feed your wire and complete the install.